X Club. There ain't no party like an X Men party. No. Yeah. Go back to the nineties where you belong. Oh, I wasn't born in the nineties. Yeah, but you grew up in the nineties. Did I though? You're showing your age now. I wasn't born in the nineties. Yeah, you old as fuck. <laughs> Yeah, I was born in the 2000s, actually. <laughs> I'm a millennial. <laughs> yeah. Call back to episode one. If you're not a filthy skipper, then you'll know. Yeah, yes. Well, really, there's much to skip, though. I mean, like, people have skipped now. It's 38 seconds in. People have skipped. That's how, how small people's attention span is. You get 30 seconds in, and the, the graph's like that. Like, I wish. Freaking ski slope. And I don't even care how many people would then just leave the video. I wish that I could actually be like, I am not giving you the option to skip. Oh, as if it was like a premiere, but all the time. Yeah. So you clicked on a video and you just had to watch it. Yeah. Unless obviously funny. it's a video that you feel the need to be like, people are coming for a tutorial reason. But if I want you to not skip, then I'll find a way to make you not skip. Okay, how about that? Welcome back way. to X Men ninety seven. Well, technically, it is possible. You could do that. I'm hated already. So technically, the amount of people that are like, eh, <laughs> the funny thing is, as well as I also have a way that you could play ads to people on YouTube, and it'd be impossible to skip the ads. But that's something that I think I'll keep my dome piece and never share. <laughs> that is controversy. <laughs> yeah. So in the last episode, Jubilee had her birthday and she got trapped in a video game. And Storm and Forge, it was very one-sided, but there was romance. <laughs> And there was a horse that I think died because it flew off a cliff. And there's an owl and... It was all very weird. Well, yeah, I'm like, what am I describing The last here? episode was a strange episode. It was really weird. Like, the pacing between, like, a, a young girl, kind of, like, 18, having a good time. Who am I going to be when I grow up? Versus, I love you, my goddess. Now, let me just say, that's not how to react to that. No, you said you would drop your panties. Well, I said you would drop your panties, but you agree. I mean, I didn't disagree with that, but I'm just saying, like, if the right guy says he loves you... No, he's not the right guy, that's why I got a slap. You don't slap the wrong guy well, no, for you saying I love you. You shouldn't assault someone, but you also probably shouldn't be that forward. Yeah, he probably should have read the room. Given off mad incel vibes. <laughs> Sorry, Forge. I like Forge. Well, if you want to watch this unedited with us, make sure you head on over to suzylou.co.uk or... Patreon. Where is it? I don't know. In his pants. In, in my pants. <laughs> in the description. In my knickers. What episode is this? Five? Six. Five. Five. Six. Five. Oh, halfway through already. I don't smashing it. Smashing, smashing it. it. We don't even know what It's easy day. when it's a good show, though. What day these come out? Nah, no idea. Tuesdays. Wednesdays. I think it's Wednesday. Find out. I'll find <laughs> well, out. We'll figure it out anyways. For us, as we are filming this, That's our next book, episode is... Nine. Eight. Nine. Nine. Yeah. Not bad. All right. Let's delve on in and hope that we get some answers about the creepy owl. I don't like it existed. That was weird. I clicked on one instead. <laughs> Nathan. For those of you who don't know, I go three, two, one, click my fingers, and then that's when the video starts so that we can align things and edit. And that time I went three, two, one, and clicked my fingers on one instead of on. That's because I was about to say something to you, and you were like, ah, like in the instant panic. Oh, it just confused me. Jean, call me Madeline Pryor. Madeline Pryor. I'm sorry, but there probably shouldn't be a mutant clone of yourself out in the world. That's, that's okay. I'm just should saying, we... I think it's a bit weird. No? Nah, that's fine. Maybe we should take a page from the professor's playbook and give Eric a second shot. Oh, I bet you did give him a second shot, you dirty cow. This is like the, the lead up to when it gets good. 
I love it so much. I feel like I've heard this song somewhere before. And I don't just mean like constantly for the past day. But I do. We were talking about it before and I literally played this song for you. Did you? Yeah. Like years ago. Maybe it was that good it resonated with me. Oh yeah. How could it not? That needs some weird editing on it right there. <laughs> I feel like I've completely forgotten what I was gonna say. So. Good. I can't believe that she smooches him there. Like that's such a tease. The snake follower was there. That's where they always have something new. Night G7. Some say they're freaks. Some call them monsters. They're mutants. Well, I am just as flattered to be sitting with a renowned scientist such as yourself, Dr. McCoy. Oh, oh. oh it's a kitty pie. Here in Westchester County sits an unassuming English estate. The X-Men's home. Probably shouldn't be docks and all that. <laughs> I was about to say, they would have protesters outside there Call all someone. the time, yeah. like, trying to bomb it. Xavier's school is the only home they've ever known. People who have fallen Aww. through the cracks. So why would he be on TV, though, if he doesn't want his parents to find out he's a mutant? Ah, that's a good point. It's a very good point. You are the only soul on board for whom gravity would most certainly be an issue. <sighs> Can it, you roosters? Yeah, real quick, save them. They be busy doing a bit of renovating since Gambit's last visit. Holiday time! I know. It's nice though, because it means that the mutants actually have somewhere that they can be normal. Whatever the hell normal is. <laughs> like it's the green guy! Bleach. <laughs> That's just me when I go to any theme park. I've got to say though, like, even if you were a mutant, there would still be more powerful mutants that you would be scared of. Is that Mephisto? I feel bad for whatever the hell this pink thing is. Yeah. You can literally just see their body. Their bones. If I wear tight pants, you can see my bones. <laughs> Talk about very skin tight <laughs> pants. <laughs> A lot of smiles at the mansion when we heard Madeline Pryor scored a top spot among Genosha's brass. Well, when she's super purple. You guys could spare a gene. Hush, madame. Two always better than one. I mean, you say that though, but it's still not good. That's just how I feel about she's it. She's like your twin sister. Well... I confess, the Master of Magnetism was surprised to receive an invite bearing the United Nations seal. Imagine calling yourself the Master of Magnetism in the third person, you loser. <laughs> Imagine being the master of unlocking. Mm. Imagine being a Jill sandwich. Hmm. So where the heck does that leave us? <laughs> yeah, Nightcrawler. Remember Nightcrawler? He was in the movies. He was. Yeah, I do remember him. He was the one when Thingy fell out of the plane and he went down and he was like, Pachung! and he got them. I remember. Is that a mutant parrot? Oh, or is it a parrot parrot? No, it's just a parrot parrot. <laughs> look, look! It's just like you said it'd be. Who? The professor? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, the other professor, mm. you know. Yeah, the professor. <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to say another name for a cat. <laughs> okay. So I can't help but ruin honey. Well, maybe Gambit's willing to ask questions no one else will. Yeah, you know? go for you, Gambit. Why is Magneto suddenly mutant MVP? It is a little bit strange. Mm. But then he does always have the mutant's best interest at heart, so yeah. why wouldn't he be? Oh! Oh! Well, there's some strange things going on there. What'd you expect? The mutants! If you can go through someone like that, does that mean that you'd see their innards as you go? I reckon you'd have to close your eyes. You don't <laughs> want to get innards in your eyeballs. It does not take a place to see you and Bog souls touch in every gaze. Ain't the touch she'll be just, looking for. I was gonna say. Life is violins and close-ups. I blame soap operas. Just marry the bell and be done. Um, it's hashtag complicated. There is no love without sin. For love is best measured in what we forgive. Dude, you're not reading the room though, okay? It's not weather. Like, she's banging someone else. 
being an X-Man teaches anything, Miss Tilby. It's to expect the unexpected. I always kept that in mind as field leader. His bloody glass is like shimmering. Yeah. Actually, let's talk about you and Marvel Girl. I hear you're the X-Men's power couple. It's not Marvel Girl anymore, okay. When did you know she was the one? Um, do your research before you ask the questions. This busted mug ain't changed in a hundred years, and you know it. And his love hasn't changed in a hundred years either. Hasn't known her for, he's only known her for about ten years or something. That's what you think. She seemed nervous when I asked her to go out. He was scared. Afraid the phoenix had changed me. No wonder he was scared. Bloody cosmic power has taken over your body. I could already feel the universe speaking to me. Much like Scott used to, through our special psychic rapport. Oh man, I love that Logan's the one that's sitting there like, aha. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Uh, cool. Yep. Yeah, but I'm the man for you. Jean was using the power of the phoenix to block my optic blasts, and we could see each other's eyes. That was a really beautiful moment, actually. <laughs> I forget how many sunrises your eyes have seen. The only ever seen one of you, Red. I mean, there was two, brother. <laughs> oh! oh! I'm... You're Jean Grey. He's Scott Summers. Those are the rules. You just forgot him for a sec. Oh. No! Oh, the Logan. story's there! Strange. I saw hospital records for one Nathan Charles Summers, born to oh. Scott and Jean Grey Summers. Okay, too much info. Cut the interview. Yeah, it wasn't really. I came here today to give the X-Men a chance to show the world that mutants are just like us. And you lie. I didn't lie. <laughs> it's not actually her. I said because you're normal. You're ungrateful. We fight, risk our lives for you. Oh no, he's gonna go off the rails. Yeah. I lie because the truth is we're nothing like you. Thank God, because it's the only reason you people are still alive. Oh, -ho -ho! is that a threat, sir? <laughs> Damn! I should leave some of that on a cutting room floor. Yeah, you might want to delete the footage of that one. We need to be thinking about how to speak loudly as one united community. <laughs> I was going to do the same. You eclectic allotment of social climbers wish for me to rule Genosha. Don't know about your ruling. I don't think he should rule anything. Charles be gone, Magneto. And I may not like it, but if Charles trusts you with his X-Men, he trusts you with this. She's supposed to be Scottish. I, I don't is. know. I feel like Irish, maybe? Trust you. No, she's definitely Scottish. I don't know where she's from, though. Like Moses in the Promised Land, we would carry the dream, but never live it. I love his character in this. <laughs> it's the complete opposite of who I think he is. You shall have me on one condition. Uh-oh. You think making me your queen means we're getting back together? It is a political calculation, Rogue. I'm not sure she'd be a good, good queenie. We would be lucky to have you. Lead. Aw, she's a cutie though. I feel like she doesn't like the idea of being that high up. I feel like she doesn't like the idea of being with him. What, with Magneto? Mm -hmm. Describe him to me. Describe Nathan. I see him. So did she not give birth? I'm so confused. No, she didn't. She was getting confused with the memories. Mm -hmm. But she wasn't there. It reminds me of... Of us. <sighs> She just kissing everybody in this building today. Oh yeah, she is. Jean! If you'll excuse us, Madeline. Hello? Explain what? I know what I saw. Jean, you- How long has it been happening? Well, maybe we are getting divorced quite. Yeah, I, I was checking in after she moved overseas, but- we... Oh my god, no! Be with my clone. Oh my oh, god. Dude. She's the mother of my son. That's the one thing I can be certain about right now. This is so messy. <laughs> it is so... messy. I love both of you. Oh, jeez. Oh, and you? You don't trust your memories. Do you even love me? Don't you dare try to turn it around I on know. her. Do you love me, Jean? Or am I just a lovely memory? <laughs> oh! <laughs> the brain just laser beamed. You know what? Logan! Logan! <laughs> <laughs> it 
He's so cute! Wasn't expecting a lady caller. What's wrong, <laughs> Shia? I'm not even dressed for the occasion. Best sit down. My evil mother was helping me with my powers. Said she knew a fella who could help. I bet he wanted to help you. Help you out with your clothes! <laughs> she showed me that being a mutant wasn't just about my power. Well, she's a beautiful young lady and he's an old man, so of course he's gonna try. Yep. When I joined the X-Men, Eric said he wouldn't Oh, I feel like he's not listening. He's like, whatever. Yeah. These women have got a bad habit of telling the people that love them stories about their partners. And if I can play a bigger role and better in the world, well, that's the whole reason I became an X-Man. Gambit doesn't give a shit. You light up everything you touch, but never me. <laughs> oh my god. That it? In this game, he do. Till then, we be friends, Mona me. Oh, Aww. goodness. Ooh. Must be so hard for her though. It's like the most tragic love story ever. Imagine sleeping with an old man because you can. You know what I mean? But you can't really sleep with anybody else. I mean, luckily he's not an ugly old man. <laughs> but still. Listen, just get like a morph suit or something. Now you can touch him and it kind of feels like it's him. Like there has to be something, you know? Get yeah, Forge. Forge will figure something out. We'll just put one of the necklaces on it. Uh, yeah, that's true. Why not? Assemble the council. We need to talk. We're having a party then. Most other nations don't allow a terrorist to be their leader. Well, I mean, the Americans would like to disagree. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna say names here though. Oh, oh, damn! She's gonna come down like a beautiful bell. That was a good movie. I enjoyed that movie. Yeah. Oh man, I'm getting chills because I want him to leave. No, Aww. I don't want him to see it. Not fair. My heart broke for him. Imagine you couldn't do that. Bah! Ah! <laughs> that should give me a friend. <laughs> yeah, what a horrible power for her to have. Yeah. Aisha, good wee, wee dancer, you know? Okay, not in public, Magneto. I was gonna say, like, you're not like a formal do. <laughs> you're getting all thirsty on the dance floor with your missus. Aw, she's not happy. Oh, she looks not happy. She just looked really sad. You missed it. Oh! oh she got laser beams. She has these laser too. beams. There can only be one. The Highlander. I don't think that the two of them can be alive. Remy was right. Some things are deeper than skin. Oh. I mean, yeah, okay, go be with them, but you've got a lot to work out. Get everybody out. Jubilee, what are you doing? Who's this man? He's coming. Who's coming? I hey, no, what's going on? Body slide. One. No, no, not again. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Eyes. You made it. You survived. Wait. What? What did he survive? I'm so sorry, Mom. <laughs> yeah, boy! <laughs> Why did I was freaking out at the start of that other episode? Oh my god! <laughs> yep. Wait, wh why was he only allowed to be there for like two seconds? Oh no! Okay, she's okay. Take a lot more than that to take her rogue. Uh oh. Not these buggers again! It's oh. always the same! Always the same. We should know how to take them out by now. Oh. oh! Listen, with that many mutants there, they'd be just pulling them apart. Oh! Oh! Taking the girl! Oh, the music's so good! Why does he always have to sacrifice himself? Every time, man. 
Rogue! Get this lady some gloves! A promise was made. I just have too many chills right now, I can't. Oh my god, what the hell is this thing? It's just bloody typical, isn't it? That we're all having a good time here and you have to come and ruin it. Well, they're not just going after the uh, mutants. Well, they're probably not programmed to know the difference. We shall not live our days wondering if we could have saved more. Oh. Oh, I thought she touched him just then. No. I just want them to hold hands. <laughs> them rules they even have like the same accent and everything like they're destined <laughs> they don't have the same accent they talk do well they're about as close as me and you <laughs> oh man they're so chill Say, yeah what was about us like they must know they can't deal with magneto come on don't prove me wrong! Nah, no chance. No! No! Oh. I'm the statue! Oh my god. How many people just died? <sighs> Wasn't your fault, buddy. Oh. They shall be a bear. That's it. Just look at the tree in the The man is snapped. Oh. Her hair! I love it! She's a freaking Easter egg! <laughs> if not her, Magneto. He promised Leech would never be scared again. Oh no. Don't, don't hurt my little green guy. Oh no. Ooh, yay! Yay! That song is just so cool. Doesn't matter what <laughs> bit you get. No. Now kindly follow me. If it happens to Gambit, I'm a freak. <laughs> I'm just waiting on Storm showing up. Oh my god! <laughs> and uh, Forge. Yeah. Omega little threat detected. Uh oh. Legit thought I just said Omega lol. <laughs> oh no, no, no! Uh oh. You got this, Magneto! Are you sure about that? No! Too dangerous, Jeff! You can't hold her! What are you doing? Oh. He's trying to protect us, Rose! I mean, how can she see anything, anyways? He'll be okay. Oh, Leech. Hab keine Angst. No, he'll be fine. Oh. Oh, oh, that's it. Girl is snapped. Oh. Oh. oh my god, I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> wow. That was quick thinking. Gambit, see your bed. And raise it! Oh, oh, I no. just end the episode so everyone's okay! Gamb, you're not strong enough for this, mate. <gasps> oh no! <sighs> oh my god, no! Oh. Mutant intruder neutralized. The name's Gambit. Oh my god, no, Gambit! No. Remember it. What badass? I jinxed him. Oh my. The images you are about to see may be disturbing. He'll be okay. Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> She's the pallet. Oh. I, I can't feel you. <laughs> she finally gets to touch him and it's only because he's dead. Oh. oh my god, what a sad version of the song. I'm like, I feel like I, I don't know what just happened. I feel like everything just happened and I don't know what just happened. 
Oh my god. It's just so sad. That is sad. Why do they do that? These episodes are nuts. Why well, are you glad that I recommended it now? <laughs> How did we go from that last episode where Jubilee was in a video game and Storm was tripping balls to that? Wow. I don't know, but I just like blew out my voice completely. Like from the sun, what's he called again? Cable. That wasn't his name. No, his that... His actual name. His actual name. Uh, can't remember. That like it took name. me a second until she was like... You actually made it. And I was like, who made it? <laughs> yeah. And then when I realized, I was like... <gasps> that's what, like I said, that's why when I, when I realized... And I was like, I can't believe I forgot his name already. But when I realized it was Cable, who the kid was. And that he had to go into the future to get healed and all that. And I was like, oh my god. So I want to know how he managed to come back. You know, like... Well, he went to the same time the bishop's from. And obviously, and obviously bishop... they've got a lot more tech. Yeah, bishop's got the tech to come back in time. And if bishop was one time <clears throat> there, then yeah, I suppose it would back, make yeah. sense. Yeah. It's crazy, though, because how far into the future is that, then, if he's, like, 40s? Yeah, he was quite old, yeah. So his mum would maybe not even be in that time. Well, bishops from so far in the future that everyone, like, none of them exist. I think the only one that's still alive is Wolverine. Oh. Oh, bless him. He ain't going anywhere. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. No. That was a good episode. No, Okay. It's answer. amazing how that one was 40 minutes and that flew. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? It's like I love Gambit so much. I think he'll be okay. I don't think he'll be okay. Moira McTaggart. I'm almost positive. You know the Scottish women? Mm-hmm. That were like, is that Scottish? It says it was Moira. I think it was Moira McTaggart. And I think that was um, Charles Xavier's fling like his his lady mm. from scotland i'm almost positive it is and juggernaut is his stepbrother uh, as i says in one of the first episodes about juggernaut being his brother i i need to to i don't know hey okay. that minute yeah all right you guys thank you so much for watching and we'll see you all in the next episode <laughs>